Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for another Fummy Clone NIS Clone system from China. Now, this has got a bit of age to this one guys, it's from 2000 originally and it was sticking around till about 2006. Now, I've shown this type of console before on my channel, in fact I've done quite a few Fummy Clones but one that was very similar to this because it's in the shape of an N64 controller and this one is called the Gunboy. Here we go. As you can see in the shape of an N64 controller. But I tell you what, this is the cream of the crop of these types of consoles. And especially when you think it's from 2000 originally because it's actually nicely made. But, and he says grabbing the counterpart here. There's the counterpart that you plug into that one. Yeah, there was also this version as well, which doesn't look as impressive, does it, as this one. But you get two that are shaped like this. I think this is more impressive. So yeah, there's the one that you plug into it for two-player action. So yeah, what I want to do in this video, guys, is find out just how well this performs. Now, there's some very interesting things about this, which I shall tell you as we take a look around the system in just a minute. But yeah, would you like to join me guys as we take a look at a Chinese family clone stroke NES clone mm, from 2000 in the Gun Boy guys. Right, hold on to your britches because this is going to be a fun journey because what we're doing in this video is just looking at official games that have been dropped onto here. Yeah, licensed games, guys. Hmm. Let's see how they perform. Will they have a screen tearing? Will they sound right? Will they perform right? Well, we're just about to find out, guys. Back in a sec. Well, here they are, guys. The Gun Boy. There is two of them, but of course, this is the main unit. This is the one that you can uh, plug in to the side of this unit. This is the actual console that has... The 1,700 games on it, whatever. The 64 games and then tons and tons of ROM hacks. But I tell you what, these are very, very well made. Especially when you think they were a knockoff, you know, NES clone back in 2000. They are very sturdy, nice feeling units, of course. Now, you got all the buttons you could want. It looks like an N64 controller. There we go. Your D-pad. And they feel very plasticky. But I can tell you now, guys, they are actually surprisingly nice. Now, we're not going to be looking so much at, you know, the whole point of this gun boy. At the light gun side of it. We're going to be looking at, uh, shall we say, <laughs> licensed games on here. And how well they run in this first video on here. But there you go, there's the gun part, guys. You can see it there. There's your little sensors there. But yeah, that's that's the gun part at the end. And it's the same on the other one, as you can see there. This is a lot lighter, this one. Still feels like quality, but it's a lot lighter because it hasn't got the internals, of course, that this one has. So yeah, they're pretty damn cool. And if you're used to an N64 controller, you'll feel right at home. There's the button there. There we go. Now what is interesting underneath, guys, is this here. Yes, you can put cartridges on there, guys. But to first anybody's bubble who is thinking of grabbing one of these off eBay or anywhere else, no, it doesn't seem to fit the European ones. You need an adapter for that. Now luckily enough, I've got one. So at some point I'll do a video putting the cartridges on. But it does fit the Japanese cartridges, which are slightly smaller, of course, so, yeah. Then here, guys, obviously I showed you that already, is the trigger. 
and there is where you plug that other controller in you would plug it into he said let's make sure we've got the right way around into there like that to do two player so yeah that's pretty neat as well so yeah just take that back out again now the other interesting bit guys is this here now on an n64 controller of course that's where your uh, memory card and whatever you would go rumble pack all that kind of thing well this is the battery pack for it and i'm going to show you this because it's very interesting you press that it flicks out as you can see there there we go and then you pull that out guys and that's what it looks like there very very odd never seen anything quite like this before you've seen that there yeah i'll we'll put him down a minute and bring the pack in and what you do guys is you put the batteries into here he says if you can get it open there we go like that and it takes four yeah four double a's so that is very very unusual very unusual indeed he says coming out of focus but yeah and then you just pop it back in the right way around of course like that and it clicks back in yeah so that is actually pretty cool now i do like <laughs> the red or burgundy really isn't it it's a very dark red it's a burgundy color I love the white gun boy on there. Obviously on both of them it's the same. Yeah, they're pretty damn good. And I say the buttons are deceiving. You think they're cheap and nasty, but they're actually not. They're pretty damn nice. I like the grip on here. Bit of texture there. Yeah. Pretty damn cool. But I guess we better plug it into the TV and see what's actually on this thing. So right, back in a sec. Right, here we go guys, with groovy music here. When you first turn it on, this is what you're uh, seeing. <laughs> a very uh, groovy indeed screen and groovy music to accom uh, accompany it. Right, let's go into the menu then. Right, so you can see here guys, there's loads of games on here. We've got Ultimate, Mega Race, UFO Race and whatever and whatever. Zippy race, as we go down there's tons more, cowboy look at that, sky invader, shooting war, ninja 2, triple jump, all that. But what I'm interested in guys is some of the uh, licensed games that are on here. And they're the ones we're going to take a quick look at. Let's go up to here, as you can see there guys, <laughs> Galaxian. And you've got Pac-Man as well there. We've got 1942 as well. And Gallagher. We've got to have a look at them, haven't we, guys, eh? So we'll start with Pac-Man. Yeah, let's start with Pac-Man. Let's see if it's a competent enough game of Pac-Man. Certainly looks the business. You've got one player and you've got a two player. So let's see. And there we go. Seems to be a little weird thing in the left hand top corner there, I don't know what that is. This seems competent enough, wow. You're better off with the pad than you are with the uh, stick, that's for sure. Oh, he's going to come out, yeah, there we go. Get around there. Get some more, there we go. Oh. Hey, we've got him. Nice one. We're doing all right here, guys. We're doing all right. Yeah, this is a fairly good game of Batman. That's to be said. You know how much I love flipping Batman, guys, don't you? Oh, you bugger. Ah, oh, nearly. You nearly got me, guys. I nearly got me. Oh, you sod. Come on, get around there. That's it. Get those damn cherries, boy. Yeah. This is pretty damn good, it has to be said. 
very, very much enjoying this. Wow. They're going to come and ambush me any minute now, though. I'm sure of that. But yeah, that is pretty cool. Just to be seen. Wow. Whoa, you bugger. Yeah, I knew they were going to get me with that last bit there. Look. Oh, you sods. Right. Let's get that and then we'll move on to the next one, eh? Oh, yeah, bugger. Go away. Is he going right up there? Cool. Yeah, wow. I'm very impressed with that one. Brilliant. Right, here we go, guys, with the next one. Galaxian. Let's see how this one plays, then. It'll be very interesting again. Again, it looks the business, doesn't it? I've just paused it, apparently. Right, okay. That was a strange button for pause, but... It is, of course, a... Uh, Clone system, so you can't really expect too much, can you? But yeah, this is pretty much plain. Fine, isn't it? Certainly a very nice uh, version of it. Very fun. Not sure whether they've taken one of the NES ones. I presume they're NES ones because it is a NES clone after all. Oh, he got me, look the bugger. But yeah, I'm quite impressed, I must say. Wow, very impressed. Got him. And that last one there, yeah. Right, we'll have one more go. Yes, that is pretty impressive, guys. That has to be said. Yeah. Oh, you buggers. Yeah, they got me. Come on, then. one more life. Sound effects are pretty spot on as well. I am very impressed with the gun boy at the moment. Wow. Yeah, that is pretty damn cool. Well, hey, we'll get killed in a minute. Wait. Yeah, that is pretty cool, guys. Let's move on. Right, here we go, guys. The next one, Twin Bay. Now, this looks a bit washed out. The colours are not very good at all, even on the TV itself. Yeah, there's a little demo kicking in there, and it looks like Twin B should look. Let's, shall we play this thing? Here we go, guys. One player. I think the sprite, the main sprite, your, your craft, is going to look very uh, weird here. Very washed out indeed. Let's see, shall we? Let's see if you get bells when you hit the, uh, when you hit the clouds and things. You get them? Oh yes you do, look at that, look. Yeah, there we go. Still get them good. Yeah, the character looks washed out, there's not much colour there. There seems to be a few little uh, screen tears and what have you now and again, but yeah, it's not too bad guys, it's plain nice. Music's fine. Yeah, they're just, just the sprites are a bit washed out on this one. But yeah, it's certainly a decent enough game of Twinbee. You can overlook the uh, blandness of the colours. Yeah, there was a bit of screen tearing again then. I noticed. And I've got that one. Yeah, cool. Here we go, oh, here come the buggers, yeah. Oh, nearly got me. But yeah, this is pretty damn cool, considering. Just a bit washed out, unfortunately. If the colours were sharper, that would have been so much better. Oh, there we go. Let's try one more lot here. It's until I die. There we go, there's a bell again. Yeah, oh, missed the bell. You've got your bongs as well, so you can get the old there. Uh, you should be able to get the old uh, lighthouses there. Couldn't get the uh, bit to focus in properly, but. Don't do it. No. Oh, no, you got me. Yeah, I'm going to move on, guys, because that's pretty damn fine. Oh, there I go. Right, here we go with 19, 
42. I absolutely love this game. Let's see how well this plays. Right, where do we start? There, right. Okay, let's see how we get on here then. Where are my weapons? Oh, I can't seem to work out how to fire on this one. Let's see. There has to be a way of firing. Oh, there we are. That was just the demo, guys, I think. Okay, there's a lot of screen tear in there. Look at that. Look where the ship's vanishing at the top. But as such, it's playing okay. Yeah, it's playing fine. Now the ship's gone. That'll help. I'll get those points. Yeah, that's better. And again, very washed out sprites, but that could be adjusted maybe on the TV. I don't know. I'm using a modern TV, of course, for something that's supposed to be used. On an old TV, oh, I'm dead again. Right, let's try again. Yeah, look at all that screen tearing at the top, guys, with the landmass there. Yeah, that's not, oh, they got me again. Right, here we go, guys, with Gallagher this time. Let's see what this does. Come on in, you. Start. There we go. Again, seems pretty confident. Yeah, this is pretty darn cool. Where well, they come hunting me down like the sods there. Oh, you bugger. Ready, I'm ready. He's getting that last one, isn't it? He's a git. Huh. Level two. I'm sure we even got to that. They're playing as they should do, guys, aren't they? Ooh, yeah, pretty cool. Moving on. Right, here we go, guys. We're millipede. Let's see how this one plays. Then you've obviously got one and two player and all that A and B game. Yeah, let's just go for it then. Again, looks a bit washed out, but yeah, it's not bad. I've played a hell of a lot worse guys in the past. Well hey, we did alright there. The bloody spiders come in there. And they all come that way, the bugger. Yeah. Apart from the colours again being a bit washed out. Which I am putting down to it being a modern TV and all that. It's doing its job otherwise, isn't it? Ooh, they got me look. Bugger. Cool. Oh, look how they're all coming now. Bloody hell. Here they all come. It's 
tell you what, the controls actually feel pretty damn good on here. You know, you would think that they would be cheap and tacky or whatever, but they're not. They're actually pretty damn good. Oh, they got me again. But yeah, that is a pretty competent yeah, version of Millipede. Oh, they got me again. That's good. Time to move on. Well, next guys, Macross. I can't believe this one's on here, guys. I love this franchise, I love it. Let's see how it plays on here. Right, here we go. Love, love, love this franchise, guys. Love it. Covered it many times on my channel before. Right, here we go then. Right, I'll just shoot right like that. How'd you change? Let's have a look. Can you change? I bet you can. You must be able to. Yeah, there we go. Look, I'm changing to the uh, big gun. This is pretty cool. Look at that. No, wow, he really does change. That is excellent. Look at it. Change again, can we? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, damn. All right, try again. Look at that weapon, wicked. Look at the old eyes in there. There they are. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That is wicked on this little unit to have this game on there, guys. This is fantastic. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Wow, absolutely awesome. Right, I think we've got one life left, haven't we? Yeah, one left, we'll play one more. Brilliant. Moving on. Right up next, guys, Dig Dug. Who doesn't know Dig Dug, eh? There we go. Seems to be pretty competent again at the moment. Yeah, the music stops as usual. Got it. Yes. And again, yeah, we got that one as well. Yeah. Come on, you bugger. That's it, got you, bugger. I'll get you and all your sod. Come here. Wait for him to come back. Come back, you swine. Oh. Cool. Very, very cool. Plays as it should. <laughs> that was the sound, though. Funny. Funny as hell. Oh, you buggers, they got me. Okay, then. Let's try again here. 
Yeah, I've got him. Yeah, the coat. And him. Excellent. Here comes the sod. Let's get him. Yeah, that is pretty damn cool, guys. Works exactly like it should. For a cheap uh, bummy clone, this is pretty good, damn good. As I say, the only thing I don't really like is how faded out the colours are. But other than that, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. Oh, they got me left. Excellent. Right, moving on. Now this one makes me laugh guys, they're calling it Happy Island, but as you will see, it is Adventure Island, here we go. Oh yes, <laughs> definitely Adventure Island. There we go, my little... There we go, we can kill him now, there we go. Hmm, that is so funny. That's definitely Adventure Island. Come on, you bugger. Die. Got him. Straight into the water. Oops. I died. Here we go again. Let's try again. Why aren't you dying? There we go. Again, very washed out guys. That's the only thing I've got a bit negative about this. Um, but I know I keep saying it guys, but it could be down to the TV I'm using. Might be better on a CRT. Right, am I going to be able to jump this or what? Yes. Look at that. Get them. Oh, you bugger. Well then, that's it. Oh, but yeah, I think you get what I mean, guys. That's Adventure Island, isn't it? Right, here we go, guys, with x Ryan. Um, Again, this actually looks a little bit darker coloured. This one's nice for looking at the moment. Let's see that. Right, are we ready? Another fantastic shooter, of course. Here they really come, the sods. See, this one handles a little bit differently to the others. Oh, yeah, buggers. We'll keep going now, keep going. There we go. Oh, you've got to fly away from them as best you can. It will hunt you down otherwise. Got it. Oh! <laughs> you git. Right, try again. But yeah, this is pretty damn fine, guys. This is pretty cool. Has to be said, even though I keep dying, it is cool. One play again, well, we can't leave it like that, can we? Come on. Let's try again. Oh, and again. When you saw, go oh, die. Yeah. Oh, one last go. Come on then. Ah. That's all right though guys, that was fantastic. One more to go. Right, and to end it guys, for now anyway, because obviously I can jump back on this little beauty at any point. Um, yeah, it's Circus guys, who doesn't know this game? Look at it, there's the demo kicking in. I think we all know this absolute classic. Right, let's play this thing then. Of course, you start with the rings of fire. 
Ooh, already dead. Oh, she's starting with your wings of fire. That's where you have to hold back and then jump. I'm going to do wait for that to come. Come on then, you bugger. Hurry up. That's it, wait for it. Get that money. Yeah, hello. Wait for it. Oh yeah, bugger, look. We can't get it at the same time, maybe. Have a look. Yay! Oh, straight into it, guys. Ooh. Yeah, this play is fantastic, right? Right, we'll give it one more go. Wicked, absolutely wicked, what a classic. Oh, can we do it? No, we can't go that. Oh, can do it in time. Oh, we can do it this time. No, come on. Come on, you. That's it. Brilliant. And again, wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. And go. Oh, probably not going to. Oh, yes, I did make it. I didn't think I was going to quite make that one then. And there's, look, there's a the platform at the end. Brilliant, we've just got to jump over this one now. Excellent. Well, that plays like a bloody treat. Well, has to be said, guys, after not jumping on this for a long, long time, I'm quite impressed again still. Yeah, the little niggles are still there that I had way back when I first got this. Um, for instance, the washed out colour. That is the biggest, you know, downside for me washed out colour on a modern TV. Although when I first got the unit back in the early 2000s uh, I think it looked better and it was because I was using a CRT back then. So yeah that could be down to that. I know I kept seeing it through the video as well guys. Yeah test it on a CRT if you do grab one of these and you've got a CRT at your disposal. Um, other little niggles um, the way the games can start. Sometimes they start here on start, sometimes they start on here on an action button. It's very confusing and you don't really know until you actually play the game for the first time which one it'll be and then you'll forget when you go to play them again and you press the wrong one. But the biggest thing I think is the screen tearing, especially on shoot em ups. For instance 1942 you know, where it was completely being lost at the top, you know, you were going along and you, you couldn't, oh, it was, it was off-putting, put it that way, very, very off-putting. But it only happens now and again. Then, the biggest elephant in the room. <laughs> hmm. Yes, there isn't that many games on there, is there? No, there isn't. Really? There is about 64 altogether, and they then just rom hack them take levels from certain games like some of the sports titles there to just divide up the different uh you know sports track and field and all that you know it, and it's just put on separately as well so yeah that is always a big fat lie on any of these systems guys there just isn't in reality there's about 64 games and then the uh the rest are rom hacks but other than that guys i think it's a fantastic thing it's one of the better out of all of these type of things that were around at the time you know you've got the gun boy and you've got tons of other ones um you know obviously you've seen one previously on my uh, channel so yeah it's the better one certainly quality wise it is lovely 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 quality it really is they've got nice long leads as well I mean, here it's all bundled up, he says. Let's have a look. Let's pull it all up here, guys. But you can see from this, look. It has got a lovely long lead so you can proper sit back 
on your sofa so yeah that is nice very very nice because especially this you know this day and age it's not always a given is it this one's a bit shorter but of course it's been um plugged into this one so yeah but all in all guys what a fantastic product even to this day if you can put up with that you know where the colour's a bit faded and what have you you can put up with that you won't go wrong with one of these it's a fun little thing and it's certainly if you're a collector it's a nice thing to have in your collection so right with that guys we've got a good look at it you want more videos of the games on here i'll be very very happy to do more videos but for now i'm going to wrap things up and i'm going to say the usuals if you're not subbed already please drop me a sub give me a bummy thumbs up and of course don't forget to tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications and guys do you like these old retro games like this because if you do emulation might be the way forward for you now there's games out there guys that would be lost forever if it wasn't for us preserving them for the future generation and emulation is a fantastic way of doing that so if you do love emulation whether it's a handheld Plug it into the TV, over the PC, whatever. I've got a fantastic group for you on Facebook. It's the Retro Emulation Fan Group that me and my bestie Nate set up some time ago, guys. We now have nearly 600 members, which is incredible. There is tons of videos for you to watch from. Unboxing videos, system reviews like this one. And of course, a whole lot more. Tech help videos, for instance. If you're stuck on anything, we also have... A fantastic admin team behind us that will sort out any problems that they can. It is just a fantastic group to be with like-minded emulation enthusiasts. So, all linked below, guys, if you want to come over and join us. Then I also have my UK Crap Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything gaming, guys, from the dawn of time to current. So from Pong machines to PS5s and everything in between. Again, ever-growing member base, guys fantastic admin team tons of videos because other youtubers put their videos up there all the time as well so loads of content for you so if you just love gaming head below it's all linked there again come over ask to join and i'll accept you in no time and then finally guys i also have a patreon again there's a video there for you to watch as well explaining why i decided to set a patreon up in the first place so if you want to give that a watch and see if you're going to join me on my patreon journey and with that guys i'm going to love you and leave you as if it is in choose and goodbye